Konnichiwa guys, Nexus here, welcome back to Destiny 2! And in today's video, we're still here, obviously, with Beyond Light content, but no Trials of Osiris content, because Trials got pushed back! It pains me inside, Titans going in Viz 2020, what could be worse? But yeah, today we're gonna be reviewing the weapon that you might have seen during my posterity, in terms of I had a lot of them in my inventory, and it will be, as you see, the Arctic Haze. Now, the Arctic Haze is the Europa weapons, there is a couple of them, like the Albedo one, the sidearm, what's it called? The Albedo. Hi, Albedo. And obviously, there is the uh, Thermal Erosion, stuff like that. There's a couple of, obviously, Europa weapons. But the Arctic Haze is the Energy Auto Rifle. Now, it's in the rapid fire frame, meaning it's 720 RPM. And how you obtain this is Varix of the Loyal. So, if for me, anyway, if you go over here, you will see when I get uh, 30 here, always pieces, I can get a quest to get the Arctic Haze. It takes about. 15 minutes to probably complete the quest depending on how skilled you are and then you get a random drop now the thing is to unlock these missions that is the wrong one but to unlock these missions you've got to basically unlock the european explorer by two for me anyway in the second tab make sure you click over here because a lot of people don't really see them no one's really sees them because obviously you got your terminal erosion here biting winds corollius force but no one actually sees the auto rifle pulse rifle Sidearm, this is how you get the higher better rolls as well, sidearm, bone chiller. But this is the Arctic Haze roll that I have gotten. I've got a couple of them, but this is probably my best one in terms of rolls and everything. So I've got either extend the barrel or full bore. I've got steady rounds, I've got aloe magazine. And for the traits, I've got the Daddy Perk, Killing Win. Final Blows grants increased mobility, weapon range, and handling for a short duration. And then for the other trait, I actually have Eye of the Storm. This weapon becomes more accurate and boosts handling as your health gets lower. I mean, people sleep on this perk. This is actually a really good perk. You will see on the screen, though, all, obviously all the other random rolls. You'll see that you can't get, like, unrelenting, trash, warp a weapon, dragonfly, and stuff. But in terms of PvP, anyway, this is probably the best you're going to get with this weapon. The God Roll will be Eye of the Storm, Killing Win, because... Once these two things prop together, you're a laser beam of freaking debt, my friend. But that is enough about all the rolls on the Arctic Haze. We gotta see if it's good in both PvP and PvE. So without further ado, let's hop in to some PC PvP. Alrighty, so we're gonna be on a Bannerfall with the weapon, obviously, with Arctic Haze and stuff. And it actually looks pretty cool. These uh, Europa weapons, they all have like some like nice looks to them, especially their ADS. Like, I mean, the sights in these, pretty sweet. I mean, they highlight and stuff, they're uh, green and everything. I Bungie and just this season have really done super well. Am I against a squad? Because that is some squatting up right there. Oh my god. No, no, no. Guys, please. Can we please I just call a truce or something? There's a guy coming my flag. Guys! Guys! He's right there! There's two of them! Oh my god, we're gonna get one! And we get the double. Look at that. Once you get the killing wing going. My god, does this thing just start to freaking laser? Like we get this guy. Oh! Freaking dead! Oh my god, that's that is way too far away. Okay. The one thing you will notice. With an Arctic Haze or any sort of rapid fire frame at 720, they will not go that far. As auto rifles are generally medium range anyway, but definitely 720s, they are not really good for just absolute mapping. And uh, what the hell? Kill me with an Arctic Haze. I don't believe it. I died with an Arctic Haze, but he was so far away. Didn't they freaking nerf that warlock? What the hell is this? Uh, does it got. Bro, bro, where are you looking at? He's right here. This guy's a shotgun 100%. Oh my god, he, he is he dead? Guy, someone, someone get the bad man. Get him. <laughs> Gosh dang it, he's just sitting in a spawn killing everyone. I'm so mad though, that warlock melee should not have hit me, but we'll get this guy super fast if I could freaking aim. Huh, 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 huh. Oh, don't mind me if I just drop into your DMs. We'll get this guy, he's using the Monty. Oh, we need a dip. I'm so weak. Oh, this guy chasing you. Bro, 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 turn around. Oh, look at it. It's just, as I said, the 720s, they just output some serious freaking lead. It's honestly so fast. As I said, they're not like the current meta and stuff in terms of, oh, we're going to shred you guys. Look at it. Once you get the killing wind, it's so stable. Oh, my God. It's a freaking laser beam. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. no. Guys, 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 guys. Come on. Truce, truce it up. Truce it up. Huh, try that. Oh, we missed. Bro, shotgunner. Ah, that. <laughs> oh, man. But honestly, as I said, it has a lot of bullets. It's got freaking such a nice RPM and everything. It's honestly a super nice weapon, especially with the killing wind. I need to stop reloading as well. That's a trade. Ah! No! Cold denial! Oh, man. We were just shredding there. It's honestly... This is so good. I, I was trying to say it before that the 720s aren't an RPM where people are like, Oh, that's meta because it's usually adaptive frames at 600s. But honestly, this is so freaking nice. Now, there is a guy right here. Huh. Huh. We got him. We got this guy. Oh, no. He's going to dip behind as well. Your wall can't save you now. Where the hell did I go? Where'd he go? What the hell? Oh my god. Okay, can you just die? Oh, and I lost that engagement. Gosh dang it. That was the worst super. 
<laughs> Guys, we gotta remind ourselves. Who's the worst Dawnblader ever? Please put it in the comments below. Who is the worst freaking Dawnblader ever? Yep, you can say my name. I am the worst. Uh, someone cap an A though, so let's shred him with a pre-fire. If this guy frees me again, I would've been so mad. Ah! No, bro! Don't do me like that! But yeah, it's just the RPM, damage-wise and everything. They're honestly a really sweet weapon, and uh, as I said, they're not exactly... People wouldn't exactly call them meta or anything, but they're definitely up there. Now, this guy has a sh Oh my god, no. Well, that's a shotgun, so I'm not going that way. He'll get this guy. Oh, no! Uh, uh, get him! Get him! <laughs> Oh, uh, we had we literally both using the RTKs. I just hit more headshots. That's all that happened there. Yeah, I got here though. And he's a shotgun. We're gonna no scope or something. Ah, bro, just die. Thank you. Oh, here it comes. Come on, come in, come into my freaking lair and get laser beamed. Oh, he's on the flag. What the? Oh, there he is. Hey, bro. Oh, look at that. 21, 21, 21. It's just like freaking such a good RPM. It's honestly 720s. They're a nice weapon. As I said, lots of people would think, oh my god, these guys. I'm just sitting in their spawn and they haven't cleared me. But yeah, most people think, obviously, because of the RPM and stuff, it's not going to be as good as, oh, as the other weapons in terms of 600s. But I am spawn capping the hell out of these. Come on, spawn again, bro. Guys, spawn again. Feed the freaking bear some kills. Come on. And they flip spawns. God dang, I got cocky. Oh, we get this guy, though. Oh, he nearly supered me. But you know what? We, we out here living. We out here freaking living. And honestly, I'm loving this gun so far. It, it literally just feels like a real auto rifle. Like, obviously, 600s are nice and all. You get the flinch going and stuff. It's nice. But this with the killing wind and stuff, just as soon as you burn a guy's HP down, it's just insta-flick to the next guy. And you're just so stable. Double kills, honestly, are pretty easy for this. Oh, my God, no. Bro, if he actually survived, I would have been salty. This is honestly super sweet. It's super stable. Now, PC, obviously, people are going to be like, yeah, you're on PC. Everything's stable. But this is super stable, especially once you get the killing wind and stuff going. And honestly, range-wise, as I said, you won't be mapping anyone anytime soon. Oh, we hit him. He is dead. Whoo, mama, we burned him out. But yeah, range-wise, as I said, that's like the one place where you're going to find a struggle with 720s. But they honestly, they put up a good fight in those situations. So we'll get this guy and... Ah, he triple-tapped me with a criminal's jump shot. Oh, I'm going to get frozen 100%. Hoop. Uh, da, 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 da. Thank you. See you later. Killing wind going, and look at the freaking melt! Honestly, killing wind on an auto. It's so good. And that's the thing, I am using Eye of the Storm, which I have said when you looked at the rolls. It's probably the best one, just laser beam a bit more when you're weak or whatever. But in terms of just absolutely laser beam people, once you get the killing wind going, it's freaking nuts. Now, there is a guy in here. Oh, he's weak, he's weak, he's weak. He ain't weak anymore, he ain't weak anymore. Did we hit him? Ah! 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 Oh, wait, leave me alone. Oh, we're lazy being this guy, though. Like, look at that. Honestly, freaking deletion. I can't even... They don't even have a freaking... Oh, no, that's a guy with a freaking super. But they honestly... They have literally no chance. Once the killing wing comes, it's either... They get lucky in terms of um, triple topping you, or else they're going to die. Because I feel like once you get killing wind, all you got to do is trace their head. It's so easy. There's literally zero recoil. Zero anything. It's, it's freaking nuts. Honestly, this is so good. As, like, look at it. It's just as soon as you get it going. And you can keep it going as well. Obviously, when you're getting double kills, you can sort of just keep the flicks and so, or the kills going. Just to keep a synergy of Killing Wind. Oh, man. I'm loving it anyway. There's a guy up here. So, we'll try and melt his head off. Ah! 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 Someone help a brother out. Thank you, Mega Bread. I was just rifting. Let a boy or let a little rifty boy rift in peace. Come on. Rift in Pepe. That's what it was. Rift in Pepe. That's what RIP stands for. Every time I pop my rift, there's a dude staring me down the face. This guy's still up here. Hey, bro, you want to just, uh, like, not just stand there? Uh, uh. Hey, bro. <laughs> oh, apparently, every time that guy puts up a wall, he gets freaking killed as well. We'll get this guy. Come on, burn, baby. Burn, baby, burn. Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> Look at it. And there's a guy in here. Hey, baby. <laughs> oh, I'm enjoying this. I am really enjoying this weapon. Like, look at it. Just look at it. Oh, we need a dip. Guy behind me. Oh, no. Huh. What? What? ACT feedback freaking fences? Are you serious? That's what shuts me down there. Man alive. I was destroying them, though. Oh, my God. It's, the, it's, it's this guy again. Hey, you want to just die for me? Thank you. Screw you and your stupid freaking slam attack. Oh, this guy's just going to hide in there, though. They're both just hiding there. Come on. Peek it. Peek it. Someone peek. Uh, the pain when you don't have a freaking nade. Thank God I finally got him. The pain when you don't have a nade is honestly so annoying when people just hide like that. Ah, no! Oh, no! Ah. 
I got frozen? What? I'm so dead. I'm so freaking dead. I am so dead. Oh, pro tip though. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Pro tip though. PSA. If you are coming up against stasis, like the slowing effects by hunters and stuff, dodge with the Twilight Garrison actually works. You can dodge straight out of that crap. You just say, nope, I'm not dealing with this nonsense and just dodge. It's honestly such a good perk. Uh, there's a guy coming though with, I think, Think, oh, that's this is what I was talking about though. Look at that. I nearly escaped. <laughs> that's what I mean. As soon as you get frozen, just jump and dodge. You will tank tank me later, guys. Just tank me later. Once you do it, go top three solar to uh, warlock. It's such a blessing in freaking disguise. Now we're gonna lose. How did we lose? Oh, but honestly, guys, the Arctic Haze. This thing is nuts. PvP. 43 opponents defeated, 3.91 efficiency. As I said, this is literally it's a laser beam. Killing wind makes it lazy. And then I have the storm. What the hell do I need my mouse for anymore? All I got to do is press one button. I'm just hitting heads. All right, all right, all right. We're going to be going into some PvE gameplay with in Gambit and stuff. So you'll see. It actually will be super nice. Now you see. I'm not proccing killing wind because I did switch my role. The killing wind is nice and loud, but PvE. I'm using a role with Genesis and obviously uh, Dragonfly. Which together in PvE is a solid ass perk. As I said, this can actually roll some really nice PvE perks. You can get subsistence if you want as well. So a lot of people used to love that or you do love it. But honestly, as a weapon or an auto rifle, Genesis is a really nice perk. You get a solar shield. You'll start reloading instantly or getting ammo from nowhere. And then obviously the dragonfly is just super good for dealing with uh, multiple odds. Now, of course, I'd get freaking Vex as my gambit enemies. So hitting headshots, I've got to shoot their freaking stomach, which is even harder than anything else. Honestly, Vex are my kryptonite PvE, but we'll get this guy. So you'll see if I get a freaking headshot, you'll see the explosion and stuff. So PvE, this is actually pretty sweet. This roll, this is honestly a really sweet roll and I'm going to freaking die. Now, obviously other people will be like, oh, I'd probably rather triple tap or subsistence or something. But I honestly think just with the amount of damage this outputs, it's so good for PvE. The one thing I will say about the Arctic Haze is though, even as much as I loved it in PvP, how good it was, the one thing I will say is that if you go into the Garden of Salvation Raid and stuff, now we're just going to show this, but if you go into the Garden of Salvation Raid, there is an auto rifle, same RPM, void weapon, called Reckless Oracle, meaning that you can get a different weapon in this archetype, and the thing about the Reckless Oracle is, is that it rolls with both Kill Clip and swashbuckler so it has two of the damage increasing perks so for a lot of people especially raiders they'll definitely try to prefer or prefer that over this because those raid weapons did not get sunset well they got brought back up they were going to get sunset until bungie decided to bring them out back as actual weapons for the next pvp or next seasons so technically they have not been sunset yet they are season of arrivals this will last an extra season as i said though a lot of people they hate raids don't like it don't like the anxiety of it don't like actually having to team up with a person I get it. I get it a lot. I know people just don't like raiding. Ah, that's fine. So this is definitely going to be a really sweet weapon for you guys to pick up. As I said, like, honestly, in terms of range and stuff, now we'll get this guy. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> oh, look at that. Even at range, we're able to save. But yeah, definitely for people who just don't like to raid. I get it. Like, it's just raiding isn't for everyone. And I understand that. Same with PvP. And PvP is not for everyone. So this will be a super nice one. As I said, this is, uh, it's good in PvE. So this will be a super nice one for people to just start raiding stuff to get. As I said, it's not too hard to get. You just have to do those quests. Now, we are getting pretty stopped. I will admit that. We are getting freaking bent over and slapped. I mean, we are just... <laughs> Oh, we're folding like a lawn chair. That's what it is. But honestly, the Arctic Haze PvE, as I said, this is a really sweet weapon. It's just anything with real RPM and range and stuff, they're always going to be decent PvE because it's just like mind numbingly just shoot a thing. Especially with obviously the dragonfly and stuff. You'll see I killed the other guy while well, these things explode anyway. But with the dragonfly and stuff, or the Genesis I have as well, this will actually be super good. As the actual weapon for PvE, this is pretty solid. And it is a solar. There is not many solars. Oh, we got some sun braces. But there's not many solar autos that are actually useful. So this is definitely one to pick up. Alrighty, so we're going to be on Anomaly with the RTKs. I mean, I've got the weapon for it, but I don't know if I have the inner strength to play on a shotgun map like this. You know you know, you know what I mean, guys. You just know that when you play Anomaly, it's just freaking mind benders and shotguns and nonsense. Oh, somebody's using a sniper. This is unprecedented times, boys. Unprecedented times and unprecedented things people are using. But look at this guy super fast. So this is PS5, by the way, if you haven't noticed in terms of aiming and stuff. Ah, oh, that's Yoten. Yoten, bro. Bro, bro, stop. <laughs> I hear the storm kicking in freaking clutch there. All right, I will admit, I'm PS5, I'm console. This has a kick. And there's two guys here. Oh, we'll get this guy. Oh, this guy robbed my kill. Where's this guy? Ah! 
He's right here. I'm so confused. Arctic, a or Arctic Haze. It's actually pretty sweet. As I said, it's a... Oh, it's a, definitely a weapon for this. I need a dip. Don't kill me. But yeah, it's definitely a weapon for this sort of engagements. PS5 though. Man, these kick. You will really want to get more of a stable roll. So like maybe flew the barrel or something. Because otherwise, your aim, look at it. But oh, look at that shred. Keeping your fingers down or keeping the toggle down. And you actually shred people. But yeah, the kick on this. This is some mighty ass kick. I honestly feel like I'm going to have to do some weight training after this. To be able to keep things down. And stop trying to yelp me, bro. We'll get this guy super fast though. You will see though. Auto rifles on console. With the aim assist and stuff. As soon as you're in the right sort of fight. Oh, we actually died to a torn. But as soon as you get them like down at their head and you start laser beaming their head, it's really sweet. And this is where the killing wind and obviously the uh, eye of storm will come in super clutch for certain fights. So I'll be able to actually kill some people like uh, by laser beaming them. So especially after I hit the first shot or whatever. Huh! Oh, we don't have one. Shot nade. Get him. No, I didn't get him. Screw you, buddy. Come on. Fight me again. Not this time without the sniper. This time without the sniper. You son of a god. Just, just die. <laughs> What is wrong with my aim? <laughs> oh god, the recoil, guys. Come on, can I not use a weapon with zero recoil? Come on, bring me back to PC. Oh my god, guys, Jesus. Oh, Dude just freaking annihilated every single one of them. We need to get the right engagements though. This map is uh, honestly confusing me right now. I'm so confused. Oh, get this guy. Oh, we got one. Right, we got Eye of Storm proc, and we got the Killing Wind, but I was just so weak. So yeah, as I said, the Killing Wind Eye Storm, it will help out in massively for when you're playing uh, PvP on console. I think it's probably the only way you're going to actually be able to use it because, or even with a counterbalance mod or something, something just to increase stability because right now, this is, uh, this is hard to use. I wouldn't say it's like impossible, but it's definitely a lot harder to use than like 900 and 600 RPMs. But honestly, the reward for using this sort of weapon is honestly really sweet. So like you can see, you can't actually shred people with this. So you, if you do get used to it or you start getting the recoil down on point, you will see, you will laser beam some people like that. I mean, it's honestly, as a weapon itself, it's pretty sweet. Now there's people here. Ah, no, bro. Come on. No, 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 no. Uh, I need to rift it up. Rifty boy inbound, boys. Rifty boy inbound. Okay. Got him. Nice. Oh, I'll get this guy super fast. Uh, hey, bro. You want to just burn for me? Oh, he's lagging. Lagging tight. I'm warlock. Oh, got him. Oh, what is going on? We got the Eye of Storm going, and that guy's lagging as well. Gosh, dang it. Why is everyone lagging? But yeah, it's just the sheer amount of freaking... No, this is the laggy boy. But it's just the sheer amount of bullets these things have. And how much damage do you can actually... As an auto, it's like it's like I'm running around with sweet business for it, like, ever. And hey, this guy is lagging as well. Oh, no! Screw you freaking laggy boy at the back! Whatever we do, guys, just don't let them get B. Just don't let them get freaking B. There's a guy right here. Oh, no, no! Oh, we got him. All right, we're weak, but we got Killing Wind. Come on, bro. Oh, he's right there. No, that's a shotgun. Freaking Xenocast. Oh, we're going to Mercy Rule them. Oh, my God. That was so fast. And you get to use my super. But, yeah, console has a lot of recoil. We got 18 pounds defeated 2.0. Not really high scoring, but, yeah. All righty. So, we're going to be doing some rumble, mainly because, obviously, the game went too fast. So, so we'll just quickly demolish this guy. We'll get this guy here. Oh, where is this guy? Ah! Oh, bro, bro. Don't scare me like that. Oh, my God. Freaking T-Rex hands. How did it not hit him there? I do not know. But yeah, because the game got Mercy Rolled and stuff, we'll just quickly do some rumble. Just to showcase it a bit more, because you can see this uh, as a weapon. It's honestly really sweet. Now he robbed my kill. But yeah, literally the 720s, they just have such a big amount of recoil and stuff. So you'll see, I can't shred and stuff, but I am not getting as much crits as I would like and everything like that. Now, don't get me wrong. There is going to be people who are good with these sorts of weapons who will slay me any freaking day of the week. But I will say that just be prepared if you are going to use this on console. This guy actually robbed my kill. If you are going to use this on console, just know that there is quite a lot of recoil. So you might want to be preparing for some back or mods or like a stability mods, counterbalance or whatever. Do it here though. He's actually he's actually using a sniper. You know what? Fair play to this guy for actually using a sniper now. We got Iron Storm and Killing Wind proc. As I said, once you get those sorts of like combos working or together... It actually does become very easy to use the weapon. Well, a lot easier <laughs> compared to the freaking ridiculous thing that it is. Oh, no, bro. Bro. Huh. Huh. Oh, my God. I didn't even hit him. Oh, my God. Can this guy just die? Come here. Come, come here. Bro. 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 Come on. Just die. Freaking hell. Gosh, dang it. I can't kill anyone. Oh, well, what do you know? Another shotgun user. Oh, huh? another shotgun user. Oh, dip, 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 dip. Killing wind going. Killing wind initiated. And there is where I mean. When you get the killing wind going, who does it shred people's booties off? 
I mean, it's literally just, it's its the saving grace for console users, definitely, as soon as you get it going. It just, it just means I can actually save some people. He's not burning, he got away. Gosh dang it, shotgun users! Ah! Oh, just died, thank you. Another person up here, another person here. Oh, we're gonna have to get him before he gets a kill, before he gets a kill! No! Bro, don't die! No! No! <laughs> have I killed him? We could have actually tried to catch up and stuff, but... I will say, I honestly don't think it's bad. But what I will say that it is kind of difficult. Well, that's it from me and the Arctic Haze Auto Rifle. Honestly, I can only say good things really about this weapon. This is a really sweet weapon. 720s, they are up there in terms of meta and stuff, but they never really overtook the Adaptive 600s. But I will say, the Arctic Haze, this thing slays. With the Killing Wind, once you get a proc and everything, my god, you just start to shred people. Especially on PvP PC. So if I broke it down between the two platforms, PC PvP, this is insane. I love it. I think this will be great. Definitely try it out with a killing wind roll. It's it's freaking nuts. PvP on PS5 or a console, there is a lot of recoil. I will admit there is a lot of recoil. You could get more stability roll or whatever. But in terms of once you do start hitting heads and clicking heads with killing wind, you will slay. It does a lot of damage. It's super good. And it's actually a really good auto to use. And then PvE, generally speaking, I actually thought it was really nice. As I said, try pick this up because it's the only solar sort of 720 you're going to get. It's a really sweet auto. But regardless, if you liked the video, throw us a like. And if you want to see more content, subscribe. I'm Fantastic Day. And hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next one.